In this SNP, I'm going to show you how to transfer files via Secure Copied Protocol, or SCP, with WinSCP. You will need to make sure that you download and install the latest version of WinSCP from the WinSCP download page. You will also need another computer running an SSH server that you can use to connect to to transfer files. For this demo, I will be using a Windows Server 2016 server with OpenSSH installed. Check out my How to Set Up OpenSSH on Windows video to see how to set this up. When you open WinSCP, you will see a login window. We are going to start with a new site. First, I'm going to select SCP from the File Protocol dropdown. Then, I'm going to enter Server1 as my host name. Next, I'll enter my username and password. If I wanted to save this connection for future use, I could click on the Save button to save the connection details. Now let's go ahead and click Login. If this is your first time connecting to this server, you will be prompted to accept the server's host key. Here I'm being prompted because the host key is different than the one I have stored. That is because I did a reinstall of OpenSSH on Server 1 for this demo, so I'm going to just click Update. Now that I'm connected to my server, you can see on the left hand side I have my local file system. In the pane on the right, I have my remote file system. On my remote system, I'm going to use this drop down to switch to the root of C. To transfer files from my local system to the remote system is as easy as selecting the file you wish to transfer and clicking Upload. If you click the arrow next to Upload, it gives you a few options like Upload, Upload in Background, and Upload and Delete. For this, I'm just going to choose Upload. This brings up a dialog with a few additional options. You can check off Transfer in Background, which will close this window and add the transfer to the transfer queue. This can be handy for large file transfers. Under Transfer Settings, there are a few more options that you can configure as well if you wish. You could select to have only new and updated files transferred, or you could exclude directories. For this file, I'm going to leave everything default. Now you can see my scptest.txt file has been moved to the remote system. I can also select a folder to transfer to the remote machine as well. I'm going to select the scp folder and click Upload. This time, I'm going to select Transfer in Background. You can see that the transfer queue has opened up and we can see the progress of the file transfer. This was a small transfer, so it didn't take much time at all. Now if I go into the SCP folder on my remote system, you can see my files and folders that I transferred over. I'm going to go back and delete the SCP folder. I can also copy files from the remote system to my local system. This time, I'm going to select the file that I want to transfer, and then click Download. This brings up the same dialog as before. This time, I'm just going to hit OK. And now you can see my remote test file has been downloaded. In addition to using the GUI, you can also automate transfers with scripts. If I click Upload again and go to Transfer Settings, there is an option called Generate Code. When I click on that, a window comes up that shows me what the code would look like to run this transfer. There are a few different formats available as well. Script file, batch file, and command line. Let's try the script file. I have already copied this script to my ISC window and saved it as scptest.txt. At the bottom, we are given an example of how to call this script file from the command line. Let's go ahead and run this script file. I'm going to call the winscp executable and pass it my log file location, ini, which I'm leaving as null, and the path to the script file. Now let's go ahead and run this. 
If I go back to WinSCP and hit refresh on the remote system, you can see that the SCP folder has been copied over by the script. And that is how to transfer files via SCP with WinSCP.